TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 8th of August in the year 2020 in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff, Curtis Keller, for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature three traffic stops and include two arrests. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. And we're back with the sequel. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Did anything exciting happen since the last time I saw you? Uh... <laughs> to be honest, I forget when the last time you rode with me. Uh, the days sort of all go together. Right. Uh, I think it was two weeks ago. I'm not so sure either. I, I believe it was. It's normal day-to-day -day life, living, living the life of Berkeley County, I guess. But nothing too exciting or too noteworthy, I don't believe. Be pulling into 7 Eleven right by Berkeley Station Road. Wayne Color Mitsubishi at Lancer, West Virginia. Hey, sir. How you doing? Good, man. I'm going to be talking to the sheriff's office. Stop me if you don't have an inspection. What was that? I didn't get the first part, what's that? Just that one just with the vehicle? Okay. How did you get it? This is a renewal, man. You just got it. You're on my hand. Um, okay. You got the driver's license with the first part. So how long did you in the vehicle? Uh, yeah. Is that eight years? Have you never had a perspective before? Not in West Virginia. How long have you lived there? About four years now. Alright, I got you. Your driver's license is valid and everything. Alright, just give me a second. I'll come back up and talk to you. Okay. Hey, sir. How you doing? security and other don't wear them red shirts and run all around and golf carts. Uh, if they like bombing, I like to go all around. Yeah. Stuff. Oh really? I got you. Check what things you touch on. So, you just got done working at Riverbend today? Yeah, I got you. What was that? I said I just got off. Just got off? I got you. Well, I'm glad to see your license is valid. I know you just got your car free registered and everything. I'm going to give you a warning, but I'm going to make it to where you have five days to get this inspected and brought back to the office. Okay? So, 
I'll explain everything to you. Did you have a long day today? Yeah, it was alright. Yeah. Anything crazy happen? Nah, not really. Not really? I mean, we work in a, you know, bar full of, you know, people that are vacationing and drinking. All day. I know River Bend all too well, my man. I do. You've been called out there a couple Oh, come times. on, man. We're out there all the time. We might as well have a substation out there. Yes. You seem kind of nervous, you okay? Huh? So you seem kind of nervous, are you okay? No, nah, I'm just a little pissed off. You're pissed it. off? What's yeah. that? Yeah. Well, this is about the third time I've been pulled over. Oh yeah? For what? Same thing? First time was no seatbelt. Uh huh. Second time was the tags on it. Uh huh. I, I had 19 tags on it. Yeah. But I got that fixed, you know, they sent it. And now for the inspection sticker. You gotta get your car fixed up, man. Don't be driving and be on the state maintaining your road. You can't be breaking the law. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just been hard, you know. Yeah. The DMV yeah. shut down. They want you to do appointments online and all that BS. Do you have anything illegal in the car? Miller sent some money up ten thousand dollars. You wish? Marijuana? Mm, Cocaine? Wish. You wish? You can't say that's not legal here. Uh, Cocaine? Heroin of any type? Nothing better mean? Nothing. If I wanted to take a look inside your car, could I? Yeah. You know you don't have to allow me to. It's all consent. You good? Yeah, no problem. As long as you let me grab my cigarettes, or at least one cigarette. I can do that. Alright, man. I'm going to give you all your information back as well. This okay. is the warning that we talked about for no motor vehicle inspection, MVI. Five days, bring it down to the sheriff's office. There's the address right there. Bring your driver's license right here. Basically, everything that I ask for. Driver's license, registration, proof of insurance, and this car showing that it has the updated motor vehicle inspection. Nothing else comes up, okay? You have five days to do it. There's all that information back for you. Right. And give me just a second. I'll walk up here and I'll let you grab your cigarettes when we rest up up here, okay? Hold on. Your new ports. Dead just money in here, bud. Yeah. yeah. Nice little tip. Nice little tip. Oh yeah, man. All right, dude. There you go. Is there a lighter over there too? Uh, uh, grab it if you want to. I'm not sure where it's at. Got it. Yeah. I got you. Just hang out right by the front of my car for me. You can just put your butt against the grill. I'm good, sir. Why don't you watch him? I got the sir. Sure, sure. Thanks, sir.
I'm going to work. Yeah. The window rattled, you have to replace it. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's broken or something. I think the window's broken. Does it still roll up and down? Yeah. Does it kind of turn the ignition on and roll down? The keys are right there. The keys are right there. What's up? What's up? What's up? On, on the trunk lid. Oh, oh, oh gotcha. What's that? You're not a smoker, are you? No. No, those are my off from the people cigarettes. Oh, uh, okay. You'd be surprised how much more somebody will talk to you whenever they need a cigarette and you have one. So. That's a good idea. Yeah, something to keep with me. If I could find Lucky Stripes, I'd get them just for nostalgia. But. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, just like I told that guy, it was the honest to God truth. I mean, when you do this job long enough, you can just tell when people 
feel like people are hiding something. And a lot of times your gut's right. This time, I mean, it wasn't. I thought he would have something more than what he had in the vehicle. I mean, there was nothing illegal, but like he told us, he was the reason why his attitude seemed so eh, not wanting to talk to us is because he's been pulled over three times in a close proximity. But I mean, it was a valid reason for stop. And I'm very much a person that likes to take hard drugs off the street. I mean, it's marijuana is not legal in West Virginia, but you know, I'm, I'll do my job. But when it comes to people overdosing, especially on heroin and of the sorts, any little bit you can get off the street helps. So. Absolutely. ticket patrols very a lot of people don't wear them but I've seen a lot of car crashes where they've saved people's lives so you're talking about since the last time you've been with me I have worked that bad car crash back or up here off of Mike Town Road at the end of last month where uh, the vehicle went into a telephone pole and injured four out of the five passengers yeah but I mean We'll see how that one goes. He's got a court date and everything. I can't discuss it too much, but that's probably the only quote unquote noteworthy calls. That one, that one made the paper, so I mean, I don't like clip the hell and save it or nothing, but <laughs> when the paper says, hey, this is what happened, I take it as, hey, I guess it was important. So. Doesn't go in the scrapbook? <laughs> no, I don't have a scrapbook. <laughs> mentioned in there for being on the scene or yeah I, I have newspapers and, and sorts like medias they uh, matched report records or public knowledge so it's a very common thing to uh, for reporters to pull matched report records for the day for a weekend kind of thing and uh, if anything's noteworthy like you know multiple noteworthy felonies or something like that they'll call the sheriff asking about the call kind of thing on the shoulder, 23 mile marker interstate 81 southbound. Good. 154 have a traffic complaint, tractor trailer driving erratically, passing on the shoulder, 23 mile marker interstate 81 southbound, right? Good. It's going to be a blue Kenworth tractor with a white trailer. Advise this. This tractor trailer is driving erratically, passing vehicles on the shoulder. Top rated by older white gentleman. 23 mile marker interstate 81 southbound. Check, we have an update location. The caller exited at the 20 mile marker vehicle, which in tractor trailer was still headed southbound. Check, 53, you can close I'm still following orders. I'll take it. I'm actually by Hitchens, Ohio. 10-4. I can get looped back around, but they got about five miles on it. Hey man, hello. Let me touch you on the mic, alright, bud? 
almost a year. I got is that a new windshield or anything? You just haven't gotten inspected. Uh, no, I had a few things. Yeah, yeah, I got inspected. Bird. You check 29 on fire on. The S A R U S A, the brand. I believe the model is going to be a Bravo 6 V6. Serial number is going to be Tango 110217 E Echo 11733. Covering or anything? Yeah. What was I, your drug of choice? Uh, I was going to heroin. Heroin? A lot. Yeah. You been clean? Yeah. How long have you been clean? A year and a month. A year and a month. Good for you, dude. I'm happy to hear that. Seriously. There's no drugs in the car? No. Nothing. If I wanted to check that off, you can check. All right. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. I'm going to. You can grab that for me. I don't want that blowing away at you. You can hold on to it. I want to secure your firearm in my car real quick. I'll get you to step back here. I'm just going to make sure there's no drugs in the car. And you can keep looking on your back for it, okay?
good and so on your hand, you're going to have a couple of I'm not trying to mess up the wrist, is that okay? That's fine. Alright. Because what's wrong with your wrist right now? I sprained it a couple weeks ago, so you're recovering, it's not a broken bone or nothing. Alright, I got you. Okay, I think you break the first little bit before. Go ahead. Thank you, I think I'm fired. Thank you, one minute, thank you. Here, Satchel information, I have one minute, thank you. Let's put your butt right here against my bumper for me, alright, sir? You got anything, any other weapons of any sort? I other than this knife I see right here. Nothing else. Right here. What is it? Is it a knife? A uh, food pistol? What is it? What is it? Nothing? Snow kit, the doors. It's not yours. Yep. So I'll do it there, buddy. So you've been selling. Yeah. Well, you sure you got anything else on you, sir? No, I have nothing. 
Nothing else on it? Yeah, I'm going to pass over here. I'm just going to start next in line then if you don't have a preference, okay? Some sort of uh, heroin mix could be. Uh, it doesn't look crystallized enough to be methamphetamine, but this sure does. So, got crystal meth. I'm sure that's heroin. Another lighter. Another lighter. Even more heroin. Or that's that's crystal. Good stop. Possession with intent right here. I need to finish searching the car, but I need to secure this evidence. Get that guy pulling in? They scraped. There's paint transfer, no damage. And I told the other guy to stop, and he said he wasn't worried about it. He waved on. So it, technically, it was private property. If he didn't want to, uh, if he wasn't worried about it, him being the victim, he obviously got hit. We witnessed it, and I'm, I'm cool with it. So only thing it would be would be an insurance exchange anyway. So yeah. private property being that way. I'm just getting a pair of uh, fentanyl proof gloves. Always got to make sure your camera is recording. Oh. We're good. This is the time to stop. We've been fine. Parkland unit, Tapple Harvest Drive Sheet. Chief Security, just call the service back and back to mail, have left. Let's go ahead and take a Special gloves. Yeah, they're a. Uh, they're a nitrate based glove, so it doesn't allow fentanyl to seep through. A lot of your plastic gloves allow powders to get through them in very trace amounts. And uh, three granules of fentanyl can kill a human quite easily. But. Thank you. I'm sure it's used for meth.
People do IOUs, not majorly, especially with low-end people, but uh, they put something up as collateral. It might take a couple days for them to get back, just like a pawn shop. So they write down how much they need from them. Whenever they return to get their property back, they remember how much they owe. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's nice of them to provide more evidence. What was that, sir? So that's nice of them to provide more evidence. Yeah, I mean, just with the drugs and the money, I mean, there's more than enough evidence right there. And him having weapons on him. Banks guard their money with people with weapons. It's his business. He does it too. tap the cars he was pulling in here but the dude wouldn't stay around for me so I'm talking that up to a private property accident okay. but firearm big old Hulk sticker so I'm gonna take this for his uh -huh. or this for my evidence and this for his belongings so that's sure. okay thank you sir you said you're cool with staying here yeah, with yeah, stay. thanks man appreciate you mm -hmm. no, thank you
I have walls for the sails. Oh, <laughs> dude, yeah. I'm talking. Okay. Jackpot, look, here's all the mess. Yeah, good bit of mess. Look at this. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's gonna sit in jail for a while. Yeah, I'd say a little while. Keys are in it. They're in it? Okay. Yeah. scene was recorded the week prior to the episode that you've just watched. It was actually recorded after that week's episode. The camera equipment was already full and turned off, so I recorded this traffic stop which led to an arrest on my cell phone. So I apologize for the difference in quality, but I wanted to include it since I thought some people would find it interesting. We were on our way back to the sheriff's office when the vehicle in front of us ran a red light. <laughs> License? You got ones on you or something? Is that? Is there any farms or anything? Okay. Why are you worried about going to jail? I got my side. Do you want to hit turn around for me? You got any knives or guns or anything like that I got to worry about? Huh. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I was trying, I didn't have enough time no, to stop. I put your hands behind your back. I didn't have enough time to stop the light. Dude, I had enough time to stop the light. I wasn't that far behind you. It was, I was right there though. I mean, the roads are wet. I don't move you. I got the I didn't, think, I didn't think it was going to turn red before I made it on there. Well, right now, like I said, you're just being detained because I didn't know what the hell you were doing when I first walked up. You understand? Yeah. I haven't run your license or anything. Yet. So you're, you're well, it's back here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and pop that off for a second, okay? Yeah. I got my body camera. Let's move on. Okay. Just please, officer. Come on, All right, man. That's not like I got anything for you to be doing. You know what? No, I don't. I hey, don't. you want to try and sit down right there on your bumper? Yeah. I didn't take it out, okay? My sciatic nerve back there. All right. <laughs> Watch your head. Well, right now, you said you might be suspended from DUI or whatever. I have to wait until they tell me about that and we'll go from there. Right now, if they say you're actually okay, then it'll just be a ticket. What do you mean if I'm actually okay? 
if they come back and they don't tell me about any of the stuff for DUI, that if they say it's not active, you don't have to worry about going anywhere tonight, okay? Just hold on. Just hang on. We'll get into it. Just hang on. No, no. Get back in there. No, no, you're not. It's good. It's, it's not bad. Okay. Um, good. Hang on. There's, I just, hang on. Hey, sir, I'm pretty close by. You want a second unit for April 30th? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Okay. So, right now they're saying you're suspended because you don't you haven't paid some tickets. Okay. Okay? So it's not for DUI. Right. right now I'm still keeping you in the back here because i got to go talk to her. All right. But right now that's it. So right now you're just looking at two tickets. For the light and for driving while you shouldn't be. All right? So just just chill back here. i got the AC on. You'll be all right. Is there, I What's up? I just got released for a KP. They're checking. They're checking. Yeah, yeah so just hang on. Didn't go through. Hang on. Good. Can you go through there and try to find me some insurance or registration? Whose car is this? Okay. Where are y'all headed tonight? Sorry? Okay. What, what's your relation to him? He's your boyfriend? How long y'all been together? Okay. You have a license? Do you have any idea anything with your name on it? You know, I can't hear you. What? Is your license good? No, my license is going to be. All right, what's that? The vehicle's going to end up having to be. All 53 and that's legal 24. It's not for sure. Okay. I'm just going to detain you for now, okay? Just so I figure out what's going on with everything. Right now, you're not under arrest, but I am detaining you. You did say you have needles in your car, so we'll be searching. Okay. Yeah. Can I turn around? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? I said there's no reason why it just makes it worse. What, fighting? No, lying. Yeah, true. That was really skinny. A little tight. I'll move around. I still got plenty of room. The problem is, it's so skinny. <laughs> All right, so just stand by the front of my car, okay? This one, the car. Yeah, first one. Okay, so she already told me she's got needles in the car. The CDS. Yeah, I'm gonna go over. She's that's in her purse. I haven't gone as far as I've gotten. They told me he's active for DUI. He's an active. Uh, she wasn't able to. She was able to show me this insurance on it, but she can't drive it anyway. So I figured we're going to have to pull it. All right, can you stay with her, will you? Yeah, yeah, we we're gonna, I'm going to be searching the vehicle or somebody from the way back. Yeah, we're just dead.
Who does no drugs? Hey, my AC on? No, I didn't get no air back here. I'm going to crack it up for you. Hey, is there any way I can get a hold of my bag? I'm going to get a hold of my bag. I'm going to get a hold of my bag. I'm going to get a hold of my bag.
All right, see how many warts are in here, okay? Right now, all I got is these nails that you told me about. They look clean to me, which is why I'm not taking them. I know you're just going to get replaced. <laughs> Right now, I don't have it anymore. The vehicle is probably going to be closed, but we're going to get it. If I leave it here, it doesn't tell me that you're not going to grab the team go. No. Okay. No, you got your phone in there, right? In my purse. Yeah. Okay, so once we're done and we're clear, I'll let you know. You can walk up there and be like, hey, I'm your ride. Right? Okay. Um, That's fine. Just hang, just hang out here for me. Okay. She, I found, I found some needles in one thing, but they're clean. You know, unless you're just going to go and place them somewhere. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I figured out she's just going to take the rest of her lives. You know, sometimes she wants to stop in, right? She can't do it. Yeah. Are you taking them? Yeah, I'm going to take them. I don't have anything in her, so I tell her when we're done, she'll probably stop in the back. Alright. You want me to wait on your toe, or? Yeah, if you could. Yeah. Uh, so free birthday, I'll be 10 15 with that mail and I'm starting to do with the bread. The cigarette, if you don't get a young man, you have a cigarette. Okay. Tell him how new I need to get on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're good. Alright, grab your stuff and go. Um, the key is on top of the dash. Hey, where are you going? You ready? Yep. Or DUI. So what's that mean? That means I gotta take you in because I caught you driving. I don't have a choice in the matter. Sir, can I, what about my dad? My, what the, can I have him come get the truck? How, how far away is he? Just in Carnesville. I, I was trying to get a hold of you earlier, please. I, I didn't have him get my wallet. Where's your wallet? In my pocket. I want to give it to him. Apparently, it was 53. There's no way you can give me a different yeah. ticket so I don't go to jail, no. sir. No, no, with that being Anything. Please. Tell him. Dude, you were getting ready to run when I walked up. No, I wasn't getting ready to run. Yeah, you were just sitting on her for some reason, right? I wasn't running, man. I would never run. your wallet with you. Is there I something just, in it? No, 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 no. I just... No. I don't know why you're freaking about your wallet. You're going to have it. It's going to go with you straight to jail. I know. They're going to throw it in a, in, a, in a bag and you got nothing to worry about. I just want to... Is there something... Just, just be honest with me. Is there something in it? No, sir. I swear. Because you realize if, if there's something in... Just listen to me. If there's something in your wallet and you take it into jail, that's an automatic felony. No. Whereas if you just tell me it's a simple possession. No, sir. Then no, you got nothing to worry about. Please, can I just put it in there and lock it up? It, it, the vehicle's going to be locked up, but it can't lock it up yet because the tow has to come. What do you mean? Yeah, your your vehicle's going, being towed. can't lock it? No, they're going to lock it up. She grabbed her purse and she's leaving. Are you going to be going 